A German physicist Albert Einstein once said, only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile. It therefore means that the positive impact we make by touching the lives of hundreds and thousands of people around us echoes into eternity. Hence, it is pertinent to leave a positive and indelible mark in the lives of many. Having a healthy society is no doubt the desire of every responsible government and the ability of humans to thrive effectively in a country is intricately linked to good health. Physical and mental well-being of a society are necessary to increase productivity and its success depends on how the citizens are nurtured and cared for. The Smart Agenda program of the Governor Ifanyo Koa led administration in Delta State is tailored towards ensuring prosperity and largely trigger quality health care to all Deltans. This healthy mind in a healthy body philosophy of the administration is being enhanced through the upgrade of health facilities at the primary, secondary and tertiary levels across the state. While Governor Ifanyo Koa has been busy fulfilling the promise of prosperity to all Deltans in diverse ways, the state first lady, Dame Edith Okoa, has been busy with providing help and support to the vulnerable and others who are usually easily neglected in the society through her pet project, the O5 Initiative. The O5 Foundation has been on a mission to add value to the lives of women, children, the youth and humanity in general through the five cardinal arms to feed the hungry and thirsty, provide home to the homeless, clothe the naked, help the sick and visit the prisoners. We are going to reach out to people one person at a time. If you want to do charity to one person, it's not possible to reach out to every person at a time. So we believe that you affect one person, that person goes to another, and it's a chain process where the person who benefits is able to reach out to his neighbor, the other neighbor reaches out to the other. And by the grace of God, before the end of time, every person would have felt O5 initiative. In the provision of quality health care so far, 11 sickle cell centers have been established in government central hospitals in 11 local government areas in the state. Through her pet project, Dame Edith Okoa has established well-equipped sickle cell treatment centers in the general hospitals in Abo, Sapale, Ugeli, Kwale, Oli, Koko, Eku, Patani, Otu Jeremy, Okwe, and Iseluku. It is my belief, trusting God, that I will be able to establish sickle cell clinics all over the central hospitals in Delta State. These children are special. All our attention needs to be given to them. Now we can actually afford our drugs and you see the joy in them. I'm so grateful because something like this has not happened before, that someone in Delta would look out for those less privileged and take good care of them. Giving hope to the vulnerable and less privileged as well as physically challenged persons in the state, prison visitations and provision of facilities that meet the needs of inmates have been a major focus of Dame Edith Okoa. In this regard, she has intervened in the Ogwashuku prison, Sapale prison, Abo prisons and the Kwale prisons. Beyond the prison visits and the support she's been given, the trying to bring them in tune with God and therefore mold their character. Uh, she's done a lot of that prison visit and I'm quite happy with that. Driven by compassion and the milk of kindness, Dame Edith Okoa has made indelible marks in the lives of many Deltans in various ways. She has helped to feed and clothe indigent children, paid fines for prisoners, reached out to all registered orphanages in the state, 
assisted in the payment of hospital bills for women and children who were stranded in hospitals, even as she has consistently offered gifts to firstborn of the year. Children in the state are always elated during their special celebrations as Dame Edith Okoa treats them to sumptuous meals. I ate, I drank, Mrs. Okoa made today great. I want to thank Mrs. Okoa for making children happy. Wonderful day. All children are happy. Both the guests, everybody was fed to their utmost being. We've been attending, it has never been like this. Our Excellency is too much. The innate desire to light up people's world, wiping away tears in the eyes of many and bringing smiles to several faces has propelled Dame Edith Okoa to reach out to special groups such as physically challenged persons in the state and the visually impaired. Moved with compassion for the plight of the blind and sick persons across Delta State, the O5 initiative, led by its founder and wife of the state governor, Dame Edith Okoa, partnered with the Restore Sight Africa initiative and the state Ministry of Health to midwife a health campaign tagged O5 Initiative Grassroots Medical Outreach. This partnership was birthed when the Restore Sight Africa initiative paid a courtesy visit on the wife of the state governor in her office in Asaba. There's a, a, a similarity between what we do. The O5 initiative, I know, is anchored on the poor, the rural people, the people who are hungry, the people who are thirsty, the prisoners, and those who are homeless. The tripartite collaboration is best described as a fusion of purpose and vision. It came at a time when the O5 initiative was working assiduously to put smiles on the faces of the less privileged through its five-fold ministry. On the other hand, the partners, Restore Sight Africa initiative focused on restoring physical and spiritual sight, while the Minister of Health under the administration of Governor Ifanyo Koa was championing its Health for All Deltans program aimed at improving healthcare delivery in line with the smart agenda of Governor Ifanyo Koa. Basically what this is all about is to bring free healthcare to the grassroots. They are going from local government to local government. I know by the end of the day a lot of people would have gotten their healing, would have gotten their treatment free of charge. The O5 initiative took to every available broadcast medium to reach thousands of Deltans. One-on-one -on -one invitation, radio announcements, publication in local tabloids, and jingles on terrestrial stations to create awareness and ensure no Deltan is left behind. The mission was to reassure Deltans that a high percentage of blindness cases, especially in the rural communities, are treatable and that blindness is not a death sentence. We have done enough uh, publicity and in achieving this we ensure that we want virtually all the nook and crannies of this local government area. They said they are coming here today, that is why I came here. The first port of call was Ika North East local government area where over a thousand five hundred persons received the free medical care. A total of 775 eye cases were treated, out of which 366 received free glasses and 68 persons were operated upon. Impressed by the turnout, the level of awareness was stepped up 
which led to increased attendance. They see our men, women, old, pregnant women, people, everybody enjoying the free medical district introduced by the first lady of this estate. So we are very grateful. I'm okay, very sound. I'm happy. More than happy. For for good uh, five years now, I have not even seen this uh, ground. But today now, Okowa and the wife have opened my eyes. I leave people who brought me here to be going on their own. Now, now I'm seeing my people. Physically, I'm relieved. Financially, I'm relieved. Psychologically, I'm relieved. So I thank God for using them. Achieve this for all of us. Emotions flowed freely when they confirmed that they could see again after doctors removed the plasters from their eyes. Some of them, tears will roll down their eyes. Some of them will say, I can see now. I can see you now. So it's an awesome experience. The story of Pa Festus, a 70-year-old man, and 83-year-old Andrew Onyoru were quite touching. The two senior citizens at Umunede in Ikano East told the story of how they have both suffered eye cataracts for several years. Even with so much doubt on the possibility of the restoration of their sight, they waited patiently for their scheduled surgery time while putting their trust on the Almighty God. They shared their testimonies. In 2016, I started experiencing an eye problem. It doesn't pain me, but uh, the sight, I'm coming to lose sight. Gradually, gradually, in close up, I could not see again. Totally December. Uh, it can be managing before, but mm. since December, you cannot you know, at all. You mm. can't see again. I'm experiencing that your Almighty God will help me with all your performances that I will be cured. I got my normal eyes. Similar story was that of Ifenua Dennis, a 51-year-old woman who has suffered cataracts for 10 years, and Monica Jacob, a 76-year-old widow from Umunede who has been blind for five years. Before my sister, I'm not the see. Even to see my skin, I'm not the see my skin. But today, glory be to God. We call our body move forward in the name of Jesus with your wife. Lundi do you know? Lundi doctors, Lundi nurse. Like they say, wonder shall never end. You can see how happy the people are. You can see the joy, the happiness in their minds. You can see the celebrations. God is really wonderful. The burden of this ill health are multifaceted and worrisome. It's a major distraction and pain to health caregivers and their families as most health challenges cut off the affected from amongst the society. In some situations, they are highly discriminated upon, especially with tales of superstitious beliefs associated with blindness. Dame Edith Okoa and her partners have succeeded in removing these barriers. In Eka South local government area, 1,117 patients registered, 746 got eyeglasses, while right. 70 eye surgeries were successfully performed. I didn't know that I'm, they are operating me at all. I don't feel pain. I'm very much grateful for uh, Senator Dr. Kawa for helping me to clear my eye. I'm not free now. I'm not free. Every drug, good drug. I didn't pay anything. Okowa is very good to us. I don't know, say Baba Jesus have already cured us. Uh, so, the, my prayer to uh, if I Ato Okowa and wife is long life and prosperity. 
I want to thank God for Her Excellency Mama Okoa. She really tried for every one of us because so many people don't have money to do it. They took nothing, even the test, the medical test I did. Nothing was taken from me. At Okwe local government area, the team attended to 734 persons, 528 received glasses, and 40 surgeries were carried out. Ethiop East recorded a total of 687 registered patients, 510 eyeglasses were given out, and 76 had surgeries. I'm a great footballer, but since this cataracts affect me, I don't feel they play ball. All my domestic work, I feel they do them again. I can do everything now, so I'm happy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm grateful. Oh. I can see clearly. There used to be an artist who used to sing, I can see the rain now. I can see clearly now. Ah, I'm so grateful. I pray that God should bless them, empower them more and more so that they will go deeper and deeper to the grassroots again. The high glass, free. They give me everything for free. Then give me. I thank you people who are doing the work for me. I thank all of them. I'm sure there are people with poor situation who are here with this philanthropic gesture has given them the opportunity to know their status. And it's something we need to appreciate. Her Excellency, the First Lady of Delta State. <laughs> In the southern part of the state, Bomodi, despite being largely a riverine local government area, no fewer than 670 persons benefited, out of which 431 got free eyeglasses as well as 60 surgeries. In Patani local government area, the team also recorded another impressive turnout of patients. Dwellers in the various riverine communities and those residing in the upland took advantage of the free medical outreach to have their different ailments examined. This brings the number of local government areas covered to six. The medical train is still on to cover the remaining 19 local government areas. The O5 initiative has done a lot and um, those that have benefited have always commended the efforts. It's our turn today in Patani local government and the best we can say is may God replenish all those who have done very well, uh, led by Excellency, the wife of the governor. With what is happening today, that free medical care, giving us glasses, operation, I think it's something to write to my back. This one initiative that the governor's wife has started that will go a long way in giving sight to many people. The beneficiaries who had been desperate in seeking solution and prayed over the years for a miracle before they heard of the free medical outreach by the governor's wife and her partners could not hide their emotions as they narrated their exploits in the past. Without eyes, you can't move to anywhere. And nobody will like you. I am happy now. In fact, my brother, my sister, my heart just is sweet me like sugar. As I day here like this, eh? Oh, I don't know what to do. So the prayer when I they give that mommy Okoa, I pray for Almighty Father to guide that woman. In Kano State, they said that it is uh, thirty-five thousand for one eye. But yeah, ten cobra I did not spend. Welcome to Delta. My Delta, my Delta, uh, welcome to Delta, I am Delta, my Delta. Come live in Delta, come invest in Delta, come explore the potentials of our state. It better run, run, come, come to Delta State, come and see the good things where Okoa, he they do, he better run, come, come to Delta State, come
Mama see the good things we all go and eat the do. I see your job and work creation in Delta. Make the youth set them higher. Still poised to bring health care to the doorsteps of Deltans, the team moved to the Central Senatorial District, where a 53-year-old trader, Cecilia Godwin, who came in from Wari, narrated how she couldn't see with one eye for six years. She told the story of how she was assisted with transport fare to the center by her church member to enable her benefit. Because we are go before now, sixty thousand. They say make I pray. I not get one error. They pray. I not get sixty thousand. I see my sure she dey hear her. I pass so they come gather some more money for me. Say they hear say Oko my wife. If they come Ororokwe, they say make I come for Ororokwe. So I say come. Now they just operate a free of charge. May God bless her. Seventy-two-year-old Philip Umukoro, Sunday Oyege represent hundreds of testimonies resonating across all the areas visited. The egg life is okay now. Did nobody ask me cobble? God go bless you now. If I close this one, I'm not gonna see you as you stand for years. So. Yes, when you get the cover the paper, I thought I'm not to see you. So, so make I read that ABC, I can't read that one. I just see that one. So it's my close this side, make I begin the read. I thought I said I'm close, I'm not even seeing you as a big rich, I'm much more. So I thank my God. Better me say now, if they don't collect money, I'm happy for my life today. In every local government area visited, the story is similar, as the doctors always took time to enlighten the people on how to maintain their eyes, giving them eye drops and sunshades, and ensuring a follow-up on those operated on. There were others who, after undergoing a thorough eye check, received drugs and reading glasses according to their medical conditions. I did not pay money because the government of Data City is one that doing it for us. And I want that to be continued like this. As he give her to me, I not take money by her. God bless her. Apart from the eye section, there were family planning section, counseling section and screening section where they were tested for malaria, high blood pressure, diabetes, HIV AIDS among others, while immunization for children and long-lasting insecticide treated nets, specially made soy milk and other essentials were also provided for nursing mothers. Restore Sight Africa initiative, while not only providing these free services, has also put plans in place to ensure routine checkup in all the local government areas, even after months of carrying out the surgeries. Make sure say that uh, cream enter inside the eye. So now, when you want to sleep for night, now you just tell somebody to press and put for inside your eye for you. Then you go go sleep only for night. Beneficiaries say the gesture remains an impactful milestone that will remain indelible in their hearts. This problem has started for year 2009. This is not cat rats, it's called Terrigion. I went for the operation successful. I really thank God and I thank the man called our governor, Mr. Ifanyu Okowa and the wife. May God Almighty bless them in the name of Jesus. I thank Okowa wife for this operation when we say do for my eyes. So I thought they see well. So God go bless her. And God will still be like the doctors and the nurse and other people when they come because the one I take on no partiality. Her commitment to collaborate with individuals and different groups to add value to humanity through the promotion of healthy lifestyles has not blocked her vision from helping families to realize the benefits of communality in the home. In this regard, Dame Edith Okor has, in the last three years, organized a forum 
which seeks to expose the place of love between and amongst family members. Through the program tagged Couples Forum, she has, on an annual basis, brought married men and women together to share the values of communication, understanding, and love. The Couples Forum have been very instructive, and most of the things we've learned have uh, helped us in improving on the relationship. The word I'm taking home is learning to live with my wife in love, in peace, in harmony, and having the understanding that whatever we have, we have it together, we share it together. As Dame Edith Okoa continues to take steps to add value to humanity, she insists on her philosophy of one person at a time.